Hey guys, welcome back. If I look crazy right now, it's because I'm going to review the Beauty Mole Removal Sweep Spot Pen. This is the device that I'm going to use. I got this for, I think, how much is this? How much did you pay? Uh, G... G50. So yeah, we got I got this for only $3.50 from Shopee. I really wanted to remove some warts on my skin. And my original plan was to go to a skin clinic and have it removed. So it was really a perfect timing. I was watching a lot of videos online and this costs um, like $30 in other countries, like in the States. So it was it's more expensive there. First of all, I got this because I have tiny warts on my skin, on my neck, and on my face. So I figured that I really, really need something like this. And the reason why I didn't go to a professional is because I'm really, really sensitive about my skin. So I might uh, make a mistake and there's no turning back. It came in this box, so very simple. And then inside the box, you get this pamphlet. It says the instructions. Okay, so this is how the device looks like and it's just white actually looks so professional it comes with a few parts which i'm going to show you guys in a bit but first let's read the instructions it says here um features using the latest technology micro computer control safe convenient fast it has three adjustable modes to do different treatment smart and reliable unique electric ion technology the use of the process will not make you feel the existence of electric current and no bleeding. I have removed a few of my warts using this and yeah, there were no bleeding but it was kind of painful. But then it says here it's rechargeable, convenient to carry, charge once can work more than 5 hours. So I don't know how long I need to charge this but uh, yeah. So I'm just going to read everything very fast for those who doesn't have this uh, device yet. I'm gonna read everything, the function and the usage very quick. So it says here, using high-tech elect electric ion carbonation function, instantly sweep freckles, H spot, flat moles, etc. without bleeding and side effects. So you can use this for age spots. I actually have some sunspots on my cheeks, so I'm not, I'm not really sure if I'm going to do that because I'm really scared to make to create craters on my skin um, but I'll definitely use this for my warts it says here you can use this for flat moles I have this mole right here but I'm not going to be touching that what do you think? should I remove this mole? yeah I remove? oh no 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 this mole? Oh, which one? Yeah. this one? should I remove my mole? no no no, no. why? I like you like it? okay for spot removal it says here the electro acupuncture port close to the spot. Move back and forth in a bit later. It will be clear that the spot burnt black and fall off. Where? It says here, uh, it will be clear that the spot burnt black and fall off. I think it means that it's going to burn the spot or the wart and then it's going to turn black of course and then it's going to fall off like when it's time the spot precipitation is shallow small area you can remove it in one time so if it's like a small spot you can remove it in just one go but if it's like a bigger area i think it's gonna be uh, it's gonna take longer to remove the wart or the sunspot if the spot pre precipitation is deep large area better to do two or three treatments you have a business like a skin clinic um there they have like like reminders for uh, beauticians for how to take care of their customers so it says here in addition it should also be noted that the beautician and the use of electro acupuncture treatment the customer should to keep the posture so you shouldn't move if you're a customer you shouldn't move and no shake and the no shake so you're not supposed to move you just still as much as possible the beautician grip the hands of the needle should be balanced so if you are the beautician you need to hold it um like balanced and you have to be really in control of this yeah because it's not that light it's kind of heavy so make sure to hold it um perfectly so with the shape your hand is supposed to be here in the middle and your hand will feel it like where you're comfortable with if you do it wrong if you shake you might um, you might burn the areas that you're not supposed to burn like like uh, the good skin you know inside the box you get this it's placed in this plastic and then actually if you are planning to reuse the packaging uh, which I'm gonna do because I don't have like um, a pouch for this so I I did a cut out right here because whenever I put this back 
before I made the cutout, it was really, really tight here. So I was so scared that I might break the metal part right here. So I had to do this cutout so that whenever I return this, it will not squeeze the metal. Okay, so as you can see this line, it was like, it goes straight here. It just disturbs the metal. So I'm scared that I might break that through the pamphlet. It comes with this small plastic with three things inside. It comes with this thing right here and it is burned part um, on the tip because I already used this. But this is how the tip looks like. And this one, there's no backup. This is the only um, one that they have. You should be very, very careful with this. And then what you're supposed to do is to attach this, turn it until it's tight so that it won't fall off while you're using it. It should look something like this. I know it looks like a torture device, but it actually is. Like, it's painful. It's gonna be painful, but it's tolerable. Like, don't you worry. Next, it comes with this thing right here. And I don't know, like, okay, I'm gonna zoom this in. It came with this five um, very sharp metal heads. It almost looks like needles. So I don't know why they didn't give extra um, a tip like this because I really really like this one more than this um, I'm kind of scared to use this. There's this small thing here You're supposed to attach this here and then you'll do that you'll be able to attach this on the actual device So if you guys are wondering what's on my face right now, I Applied some numbing cream on my skin so that I won't feel the treatment so um, that is why I have a lot of white dots on my face. Before you start with this treatment, um, you're gonna need a few things. You're gonna need a Q-tip, and then you're also gonna need tissue or like um, cotton pads, whatever you prefer. And most important thing, but really this is the most important thing, you are gonna need a numbing cream or like they call this the topical anesthetic cream. So, and I got the Dr. Numb. Um, no pain in mind um, topical anesthetic cream so the reason why I got this is because um, I watched so many videos of skincare experts doing the actual treatment the uh, re warts removal treatment they actually used a numbing cream I have a clip right here of me applying this numbing cream numbing cream looks like and it's the maximum strength and then it looks like a toothpaste or like the typical ointment packaging so it has 30 grams inside so if you're just gonna use it for your warts it's going to last you for a long time as you can see it says here it's for tattooing and body piercing body waxing bikini waxing laser hair removal and cosmetic tattooing okay it says here super numb cream must be applied one to two hours before the procedure and for best results, leave it on for two hours. So I think this cream has been on my face for about an hour already or even more. And then it says here, apply very thick on the area and do not let it dry. So you need to wrap it with a plastic. It says here, wrap with a plastic. I actually didn't do that. So if you want, you can use a clean wrap and then just break it with your finger. I wish I've done this before. Um, but yeah, you can put like clean wrap on the areas where you applied the cream and then i'm just gonna do this really quick to show you guys so it should stick because it's a cling wrap that's what you're supposed to do which i didn't do i should have done this before but i just found the cling wrap like five minutes ago so i wasn't able to do this but that is a very crucial step is to apply a plastic on top of it so that the cream won't dry up by the way you're also going to need this sebo de macho i've been using this since i was young 
never I would get wounds and scratches. I would use this one. It's very, very cheap. This is only 23 pesos. I got. So it says here, whitens new scar. So what this does is that after your treatment, after you burn your warts, you are gonna use this as a moisturizer and then it has um, it has ingredients that are good for scars as well and then it's going to lighten your scar as it's drying up the heals so um, it's not gonna be like a dark scar so I'm gonna show you guys now how to use it um, if you're gonna charge it this is where you will put the USB charger so this is the on off button here and you have three levels of heat one the um, hottest and then three being the lowest heat and then out is what you're gonna press here start burning with the tip okay so now we're gonna turn it on you're supposed to press it a few seconds and then it's gonna turn red so I am gonna choose level number three because it's the lowest heat. I want to burn my starts gradually, so I'm going to choose number three. So see, I'm pressing it and it's turning green. So that is that indicates that you are actually pressing this button here. And then, um, okay, let's just go ahead and start. Doing okay, I'm super scared right now. Whew. Okay. Now I'm just wiping off the numbing cream. And you guys are actually going to see it turn black because it's going to burn the skin. So here... See? That is very, very quick. You don't need any kasoy oil or any warts removal oil or cream. And this just burns your warts very fast, which is why I like it. And while you're doing it, you will actually smell smoke. And that is your skin burning. It's not anything else. It's your skin burning. As you've seen, that took like two seconds to achieve what I wanted from Kasoy Oil which takes like forever to give me any kind of effect but this one in literally two seconds I was able to burn this wart that just killed the wart and it's just gonna fall off um, once it's dry okay so we are gonna look like we have freckles after this treatment so you guys more close um, it actually has spark like every time I try to burn the the warts there's spark and sound like this is can you see that? It's really, really burning. Again, I'm being super careful with this because I don't want to burn the good skin around the warts. I'm just really reusing the tip of this. Just make sure that you're burning only the warts and don't burn too much because otherwise you might end up with a crater on your skin because it might create a hole. So just focus on the layer of your skin um, that has the warts and the moment this tip touches your skin you have to remove it very fast It's near my eyes, so I'm a bit scared so Sometimes I support my hand with my other hand like as if I'm holding a camera and I'm taking a video and I don't get very still I'm using my other hand to really keep my hand still and support so that I'll be able to remove this very fast because wipe off the numbing cream on my skin because if it dries up on your skin it ends up being flaky I don't know if you can see that but um, I'm just removing it because it just dried up this spot right here which I've had now is 13 and finally I'm gonna be able to get rid of it I'm this this afternoon and I just want to retouch it so ow oh my gosh that was painful now we're gonna move on to the most sensitive part of my face which is around my eyes I was gonna chicken out but then I'm just gonna be really, really careful. <sighs> the tip turns black. What I do is I remove it because sometimes it stops working. That's why I said you need a napkin because you need to wipe off the tip when you feel like it's turning black. And then I have these very, very stubborn warts right here. I've had this for a very long time. Yeah, there's smoke here, like you can definitely smell it. This is not painful, like I can feel that it's burning, but it's not painful at all. Ah. 
Smoke everywhere. This one right here is near my eye, and oh my gosh, I'm super, super scared right now, but I have to do it. Um, so. Ah. Ow! Oh my gosh, okay, I'm not gonna do it anymore, right there. Might gonna do another treatment, but that kind of hurts. Like, this part right is super sensitive, but. I barely touch the skin, so it's just the tip. I didn't apply any pressure at all, so I'm very, very careful with it. <sighs> this spot right here is less painful than this one, so... <laughs> I can't breathe. Are you, are you okay? You burn yourself with smoke. Yeah. You melt in smoke. I know. Put my lashes down a bit. And then do the eyelids. So this is gonna be the first time I burn warts from my eyelids. Ah! Okay. That's tolerable. Here. Ow. Ouch. This one is super close to my eye. I'm so scared, but okay. Let's do it. I just burned my skin, like the good skin. Oh my gosh. Ah. Okay. I'm not gonna touch my eyelids too much. So if it's near my eyes, I'm not gonna burn it too much because I don't wanna hurt myself too much. Okay. So those are scabs, it's just gonna fall down. Sometimes it's um, painful, but it's more shocking than painful. Okay. And then this one. Oh. Oh. So far, the most painful one is the one right here very close to my eyeball this didn't hurt that much but here i think the skin is super thin that's why it's so painful and we are gonna move on to the neck part you see that smoke yeah this one doesn't hurt at all now completely removed. In like less than a minute, I was able to remove the skin. Oh my gosh. This is really, 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 really effective. It's gone. It's completely gone right now. You can touch it. See? Ouch. I think I didn't have numbing cream here. Ouch. Before I suffocate here, I am going to end this treatment and tell you guys my thoughts about this device. I really really like this one. It's very very cheap. Now we are ready to talk about the Beauty Mole removal sweep spot pen but i just want to call it the warts or mole remover pen so you guys have seen it with your own eyes uh, it was able to burn the warts if you know that you are going to be able to use this responsibly and carefully then i suggest getting this because it, it's really effective um, as you can see um, you don't have to use the warts cream or like the soy oil just to um, get this effect the difference with this and then the professional um, warts removal pen is that it has a wire that you can connect to a socket and yeah so but this one is rechargeable it, you can't use a battery with this you can only charge this if you want to use this and it has a very sharp tip so you have to be careful 
um, to never poke your eyes. Like don't do what I did if you don't trust yourself because it's actually very dangerous especially it's in your eyes. You might get shocked and accidentally poke your eyes so I warn you guys to not do it if you don't trust yourself or you can hold your eye like that and then do it. Before I apply the Sebo de Macho, I'm just letting everything dry um, even more because it's so that you won't get an ugly dark scar. Um, it's just going to heal um, nicely. Yeah, this is specifically made for scars. So if you have wounds, if you have like scabs like this, if you accidentally trip and then you hurt yourself with a scratch or wounds. Every scab that I have, I'm going to apply this after I film this video. Now we are going to talk about the cons. Um, there's gonna be smoke while you're burning your warts and that is your skin burning of course um, you have to be like in a more ventilated area maybe in an open air you can do this there's a very small space between me and the, my diva light so the smoke kind of stays inside this area for a bit but another con is that of course there's gonna be pain that's why I recommend really, really getting this. Like this arrived in your house. Without this one, you might not be able to use it that easy. It's not going to numb your skin 100%. Right here, the pain, I would say, is like 40% or 30%. But for the rest of my face, it's like 10% of <laughs> the cons, the bad thing that you can say. You used it with me. It's uh, bad you. things. Uh, six days you will go up to it black. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and in, like inside one week, you, you're gonna have these black spots on your face. But that's very normal. Um, you, even if you went to a professional skin clinic, you're gonna go out looking like this, exactly like this. There's no difference. And they're gonna give you like a warts cream, which is like to, I don't know, like probably to moisturize it and to lessen the scar or to make it heal with less scars so yeah that's the only con that i can think of is that it's going to be a bit painful and then a bit it's like a bit of a torture device as you can see it's like a very sharp point here and then there's going to be burning so um it's not the easiest to use but it's the fastest and then if you get the hang of it you will be able to enjoy it because you're in the comfort of your own house so you can go ahead and grab some drinks take a break and then have a snack or something you're gonna be in a skin clinic you're, they're gonna make you lie down and then they're going to apply the numbing cream and then um, apply plastic on top of it uh, and then enough for another hour okay guys so i have to sign out very soon because it's my time to watch riverdale and i'm actually late for the whole riverdale bandwagon but um, better late than never um, but yeah i highly recommend this one if you are very careful i'm gonna give you guys an update about the effect about the scars um, if there's gonna be any scar how i maintain my skin so that i won't get any scar um, but definitely you can't wash your face for three days that is what the experts say definitely i'm gonna give you guys a final update that's gonna be probably uh in three weeks so. okay and then but since Honor is using the mouse. I'm gonna use the remote. Riverdale. Oh, there you go. I'm watching season two. I actually fell asleep last night, so I'm not really sure what season I'm in. But so we're gonna go to chapter two. And actually, guys, I've been a fan of um, Archie. Like, I would have like a massive collection of Archie comics before this, so I'm really a big fan. I don't know if I saw this part. Riverdale's on so hope to see you guys in my update so this is how my skin looks like now and this is how my skin looks like after two two three days